And uh, you see, uh, language is not my language. And English is not my language, obviously. <laughs> and for that, we need to put some ground rules um, before I start the fun part of my show. So, uh, I'm, I'm from Chile, and in my country, we tend to speak way too fast, and we like to cut the words in the end, and then nobody who speaks Spanish and some what I'm saying, you know? So I tend to do the same in English. For example, I was telling a friend a couple weeks ago, hey, I got this, you know, gig at the Met House. I'm like, what? The Met House? Yeah, in downtown, it's the Met House. I'm like, oh, and the problem is a, a tough crowd, you know? I'm like, Met House, you know, M-A-D, Met House. Oh, Met House. Like, oh, oh, oh. Totally different world, bro. Okay, yes, I know. So, <laughs> anyways, that's what you're gonna deal with. So, stay with me. We're gonna have fun, anyways. Um, so, I don't know if you guys remember uh, the miners from Chile, you know, like the 33 miners back in 2010. Yeah, Chile! Yeah, Chile. <laughs> so, those guys, thanks to them, um, before. There's a before and after me telling people I'm from Chile before you're like, hey, I'm from Chile. Like, Chile, what is that? Is that Tampeño? Mexico, what is that? Like, I'm from home city, it's a country, you know? I work as a server, so you know, I have this conversation 10 times a day. And then, like, after those guys, Chile, oh, the miners, you know? Like, oh, wow, yes, the miners, you know? So, about these guys, I have a, a sassy story about them. Ah, uh, so there was uh, this guy, his name was Luchito, you know, Luis. Uh, this guy, uh, before everything happened, he used to have three families, you know? Three fucking families. He didn't have a wife, he didn't have a girlfriend, he has three families. One city, one family, kids. Second city, family, kids. Third city, family, kids, right? The miners, they make a lot of money, so you can do that, I guess, if you want to, right? So, the first day when it happened, this guy was, he knew he was fucked, you know I mean? He never really wanted to go outside, you know? He was like, if I'm going out, I'm gonna have three families waiting for me, wanna hug me, and all my kids, you know, when I see this, I don't wanna go out. So, from the first uh, day, he was very supportive, you know, like, no guys, we're gonna be good here, nothing is happening. Then they started, you know, sending them food. They stayed there for 69 days, you know? 69 days. Good night, by the way. And, <laughs> <laughs> so this guy was like, no, we're gonna be fine here. They sending us food. We watching television now because they even watch a football game. We good. We have water. We all good. And people were like, what is wrong with this guy? And I got like, everyone was looking around. I like, got all right. Anyways, some good support, you know, positive guy. And then in the end, like, okay, they start taking them. I like, oh no, no, guys, I wanna see you all going away, going. You know, with family safety, I stay here. I'm the last one. They were like, wow, he's a fucking hero, man. <laughs> and, they, and the only thing he want to see is this fucking capsule break down and he stay down there, you know, forever. But it didn't happen. <laughs> and you know, I think, I'm pretty sure he has no family now, but he's still alive, so it's for him. Um, so, we just had a baby with my wife. Um, our second baby. Yeah. So she went to labor. Um, after labor, um, they have this doctor coming into the room, and I was there with my son, my friend, me and myself, and my wife. And the doctor was like, uh, "Do you want some privacy? I need to talk something uh, super private with you." And my wife was like, "What? Wait, no, they're fine." And they were like, "Okay." So she started like a, right away. She didn't wait for a second. She, did, she didn't even look around. She's like, a, okay, you have a baby. So nothing is happening in Yaina for six weeks. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, wait, what, what did she say? I'm like, no, no, she's not asking. I get to repeat. So she would look at her again and say, like, nothing inside your vagina for six weeks. <laughs> I was thinking, like, a, why? Why in the world you get to that point and you like a so straight for like a you can say like a no sex? We all understand that, right? <laughs> That's it, you know. But with a kid there and us, like a, I was thinking maybe some, someone before they say, nah, uh, please don't have any sex in six weeks. And like, after four weeks, I like a, 
I'm doctor, I'm sorry, I got horny, you know, you know, I call my guild, and, you know, I did something, I got, I know, and then I go to a meeting, and they were like, okay, we have to do something, you have to be more specific. So let's say, nothing inside your vagina. That's it. Problem is over, right? I'm going to be here, so. <laughs> nothing, nothing inside the vagina. I think... <laughs> so yeah, that happened. Um, so the next question, she was like, okay, you guys, uh, what are you going to do for protection, you know? And I was like, condoms. And my wife in the bed, she was like, vasectomy. I'm like, no, 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 this is not happening. Nobody's touching my balls. <laughs> and she looked at me and she's like, oh, by the way, she's Russian. Yeah, um, yeah, right. Yeah, they're right. They're tough, man. They're tough people. They're tough people. Especially girls. You don't want to fight with them. So I was like, nobody's touching my fucking boss. It's like, a, okay, your birthday is up, upcoming, and I didn't want to, um, you know, spoil the surprise, but you're going to have to say to me for the <laughs> <laughs> What is wrong with everybody? I was like, no, nobody's touching my balls. And then, of course, I did it, right? <laughs> Come on. You know, Russian people, they've been in so many wars. They're so tough. You don't want to fight with a Russian girl. I mean, you have to be crazy to start a fight, and you know you will lose. I mean, you have spies from Russia. They take them away, and you get nothing. Zero information. If you're going to take a Chilean guy as a spy, I'm going to be like, first second, I'm going to okay, who do you want? What do you want to know? <laughs> I like pain, bro, I like a, whatever. This guy, that guy, anyone, I don't care. So, I did my vasectomy, of course, and uh, I did this new technology, right? It was like a pain free, scar free, blah, 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 everything free. I was like, oh, this is beautiful. I do it. So, uh, I did two little pieces of tit titanium inside my balls, right? I know. And so you can call me Iron Man now if you want. <laughs> Could be my new name. Um, yes, yes, this is something. Uh, and yeah, it's been fun. Um, vasectomy is the best. Good. So I want to I wanna talk a little uh, about gay people. Any gay people here? That's good. That's good. So, you know, I, I, I grew up with uh, my two best friends from Chile. They're gay, male and female. And we were together all the time, you know, doing stuff together, you know, sharing time. And I never really realized that until, like, uh, my friend told me, I guess. Uh, but from the year, I realized a little bit because she used to smell like seafood all the time. And, uh, that's how I didn't think it was a good joke, but... I didn't know you guys like giving me enough good energy, so... Okay, My, my uh, male friend, right? We used to be friends. We used to go to party together, pick it up girls together, and sleep together, drunk. <laughs> but he need, never really tried anything, you know? I don't know, what the fuck? I mean, I'm not attracted enough. So, I don't know, but let me tell you something. He missed his opportunity, okay? <laughs> Anyways, um, what I want to say, um, I used to have another friend here in America. Um, I used to live in San Francisco with my wife. And, uh, not gay, not gay. No, no. I act like gay sometimes, but I'm not gay. I like to talk about gay people, but I'm not gay. Um, so my friend, uh, I don't know if he's say his name, but he's going to be the white American friend, right? And he walked like a gay, he eat like a gay, he laughed like a gay, he sit like a gay, he does everything as a gay person, but oh, he also used to have a boyfriend 
more like a sugar daddy. <laughs> only, but only when he used to get very drunk, they used to suck each other's dick, right? <laughs> but no gay. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 fucking yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, I'm not judging. I'm just your friend, right? You know, you're not trying to play with me. I'm all good. So good. You're not yet. You're not yet. I'm not watching you. So, so, I used to have this co-working Mexican. He invited me to this, uh, the, the gay pride in San Francisco. Big thing, of course. Like, ah, I don't know, man. It's just too gay for me. I mean, they want to try to fuck me all the time. Okay, my God. No, 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 no. You go with me, I will hug you, I will hold your hand. Sometimes, sometimes you have to grab my pocket and walk behind me. Oh, this is okay, I can do that. Nobody's trying to do anything with me. I do it. And he was like, okay, let's do it. And I was, he was doing a super good job. Nobody touched me, nobody went like The guys were trying to talk to me, I'm like, this man knows the boss around. And I'm like, ooh, this is fucking me. And obviously, after a couple of months, I realized he was in love with me. And he kind of, he kind of broke up with me at war because he got angry. I'm like, okay. I see how he did a very good job, but anyways, it's not part of the story. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's a bonus for us. Uh, so my gay, my gay, not gay, inside the closet friend, he, uh, he ended up, you know, like to, long story short, um, I go around with my friend boyfriend to the restroom. <laughs> of course, I didn't go out of the restroom. And uh, I went back and he was with, this is the picture I see, okay? Open shirt, you know? <laughs> About this side guy, two Mexican guys, small Mexican guys. One here sucking this nipple, oh. one another one sucking this another nipple. Oh. <laughs> it's not gay. Uh, another guy, another guy, another guy kissing him, kissing him like a French kid. <laughs> so uh, after the party, I was like, bro, please tell me. <laughs> are you, are you closer, finally, we don't want to have this talk ever. You're gay, right? At least tell me you're fucking bisexual. Like, what? What are you talking about, man? I'm not fucking gay. I just like to kiss people. <laughs> I mean, alright. I like to kiss people too, right? But I like to have boobies and vagina. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Leo.